Hello everybody, good evening. Thank you so much for joining me this evening, or whenever you're joining live. Um, oh, hey Wendy, um, thank you so much. My name's Heather Thomas. Um, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, otherwise known as the Songbird Stamper. And I'm here with my 8pm UK time YouTube live on a Thursday evening. Hello Sue, oh, you managed to make it in straight away. Good evening, good evening everybody. It's been a bit of a miserable day here in the UK. Um, but um, I've been teaching a class this morning. And um, we just watched a film, which was lovely. Um, and I'm here to have a bit of a play. Hey, Katie. Hello, Wendy. Uh, with the sea turtle set. So this is brand new to me. Um, and actually, I'm, I'm reluctant to say this is the first time I've ever had a reversible stamp. So this is my first time playing. Hey, Joanna, nice to see you. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. So this is the first time playing with this um, kind of stamp set. Um, I'm actually going to let everybody down and say I'm not using the <laughs> I'm not using the reversible site like um, element of it at all, which is a bit of a shame. But I really, really like the images. Uh, hey, Mandy. Hey, Katie was a bit miserable last night too. It was brought in by a craft club. Good, good, good. Um, but I wanted to show you because I was really shocked as soon as I opened this how big the stamps are. And it's because they're only shown at 60%. Images to 60%. Same on this one, images to 60%. So this looks like a little flower. It's enormous. Look at it, it's massive. Hey, Eloise. So, and the butterflies are gorgeous. Whereas they just, I mean, they don't really look like much of anything here, but they're, they're big and bold and yes, love it. Um, so this is one, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. This is one I made with this set. Again, not using the reversible image side of it, but don't overlook these. Yeah, don't overlook this kind of reversible. Yeah, they are huge, absolutely huge. Fate is your order from you with the seat. Do you know what? I was. It was a couple of you weren't the only one to purchase that one from me, um, and I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to be tempted now. So yes, it is absolutely fate. We're going to have a play with this one. Um, so I'm going to put that one away, but I just wanted to show you them really because yeah they're it's big so we're going to have a play with this but again i'm not going to use the reversible side but basically the way it differs is i don't know if you can see this it's straight up and down so there's no what's called no chamfer ah is that why yes yeah, so i think i've overlooked those in the mini as well then wendy um so i have um this is no chamfer on this so basically I'll, I'll demonstrate it just on a scrap uh, let's grab a color you can see oh what to choose what to choose i'm just gonna go knight of navy and be really random so this is my little sea turtle stamp and the idea is that basically you stamp the outline like this isn't that gorgeous just on its own really pretty and then what you can do is clean your stamp off and you're going to want to clean it off because now what we're going to do is turn it upside down stick it to the block like this and i'm sure like when everybody's probably stamped a stamp upside down at some point in their life and then you can stamp that off I really want to get my grid paper messy yet. So I'm just going to stamp that off. I haven't got the cleanest stamp off, but and then you line it up over the top and it gives you the background. So you can kind of infill and get the background and the detail. Yeah, I don't know why I chose, chose navy, but it was the colour that was calling to me. And again, that's where I didn't get the cleanest of stamp off. It rucked on my grid paper you can see so yes that is the um kind of reversible element to it um i've seen some really fun things done with the reversible element of it but i've decided not to use it and maybe i need a bit of practice i need a bit of kind of bedding in that's going to need a bit of um stamping mist on it as well instead what we're going to do this was a technique um that i haven't ever seen before um shown by Jill, no carrie buckham from two big girls crafting 
and she did a lovely card and I thought I'm going to have a play and I really liked how it worked and then I made a card out of it so uh, let's cut this to 10. So this is watercolour cardstock. You have trouble lining stamps up anyway. <laughs> yeah they're um I don't know. I don't. I don't have too many issues myself. But I, if you struggle with it, then then maybe the, the, the now retired stamparatus would be good. Maybe we give it a go. So this is like something that we did in my class today. Um, I've been playing around with the Joseph's coat technique quite a lot, and I think I was inspired by Carrie with with this, and it kind of led on to other things. So I'm just going to turn that stamp around and make sure I've got it the right way up. And I'm using the little turtle for now, the little turtle and the bigger of the two starfish. And I've got some clear heat embossing powder, which I don't normally use clear. And this is watercolour cardstock. OK, so really important for this to work. And I've got some blending brushes and some toilet roll. I mean, kitchen roll would be better, but I don't have any, so. Um, and I've got Azure Afternoon and Lemon Lime Twist. Gorgeous colours. So what we're gonna do is just grab some ink and the blending brush, and we're going to randomly put on some splodges of ink. You kind of want it fairly dark. So you want a good kind of covering. But it doesn't really matter how neat it is. And then we can go in for the Azure Afternoon, which is a lovely colour. This is where I am. Um, I wear my um, fitness tracker on my right wrist, and every now and again it'll tell me I've reached my goal by blending because my arms moving back and forwards, which always makes me a bit chuffed. <laughs> Reach my fitness goals just by crafting. I'm not sure it actually works like that. So I've got a decent amount of colour. I'm just going to go in for a tiny little bit more green. Just to blend those together. Okay, beautiful. Ah, oh, hey Claire, no worries, no worries. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is leave that to dry. Sadly, because actually this is the fun part, but that needs to be completely dry. And at the moment, even though it feels dry, it doesn't feel wet, it isn't gonna be solid, solid dry. So we're just gonna leave that for a minute and then you'll have to wait and be patient and uh, I'll show you the good bit in a bit. So now we can kind of start working on building the card, I think. So it's a fun fold. I actually don't really like fun folds. I think I might be falling in love. And it pains me to say that because, you know, part of my character is that I don't like fun folds. But the more I do them, the more I'm kind of... I would say made to do them, but people keep showing me all these, all these cool foam folds and I, make, I do them for blog hops and things. And yeah, I might be starting to slowly fall in love. Making meatballs the other night and your watch told me good job. I was washing, <laughs> washing your hands. Brilliant. Uh, I know. Yeah, foam folds, are, foam folds. Loads of people love foam folds. So maybe I need to get on the bandwagon. A bit late. I'm always late to the party. So we're going to score this. This was cut to 14 and a half by 21. You'll always get two out of a sheet of A4 cardstock, which is what I like. And then we're going to score it at 10 and a half and five and a quarter centimetres. So basically you're folding it in half, scoring it in half and then scoring it in half again. Okay, so that's going to give you this card, which we're then going to turn into... Oh, I 
like a bit of a Z, a Z fold card, but it's, this is a Z fold card with a difference. I don't know what it's called, I'm not going to lie. I saw it online. But we made a Z. Oh, hello, Kim. I know, bless you. I know, I always miss your lives as well. Sometimes life's just like that, isn't it? It gets in the way. So there's our little Z that we've made. And then we need a scrap of white um, because we're going to make a little pop-up element. Let me grab my scrap box and see what I've got. Yeah, that will do. So this is going to measure, I don't know because I haven't, obviously, I obviously didn't write the measurements down. Um, eight centimetres by eight centimetres. Eight by eight. So we're playing with the sea turtle stamp set today. If you're joining a little bit late, um, a brand new stamp set to me, but yeah, I really enjoy playing with it. And then we're gonna score this little piece. This is eight by eight centimeters. Hey, Anita. Oh, hello, Gina. Nice to see you all this evening. And then we're gonna score it at two. This is all centimeters. Two, four, six, and eight. So for my imperial friends, I'm really sorry. I don't work them out in two measurements. I interchangeably use all of them. Sometimes you'll see me in imperial, sometimes you'll see me in metric. And we're gonna fold all of these the same way. And what you really want is that the mechanism, this is the fold pop-up mechanism, doesn't overlap in the center. So you can see there it's not overlapping. Okay, so we've got our card base and we've got our mechanism and then we just need um, a piece of, I really should have done these measurements before, but never mind. Is that wire? No. This is lemon lime twist cardstock. So we need a piece of lemon lime twist. That measures seven by ten and a half. seven by ten and a half and then we'll need a piece of white that's thick that measures six and a half by ten so those two are going to mat and layer together and then we're going to grab some azure afternoon cardstock. This really is a delightful colour. And that is going to measure eight by eleven. So it's not quite eleven that way. So we'll go eight by eleven. And then our white is going to measure seven and a half by ten and a half. And those two are going to layer together. Be happy, everybody happy. It was a fabulous class we had today. I really enjoyed it. Although I did have to come home and sit in a darkened room. It was quite hectic. <laughs> Played some of my... Um, um, Nintendo Switch. I'm doing Mario Mario Odyssey. I've completed it, but I'm on the bonus content, and there seems to be more bonus content than there was normal content. So, uh, which is fun. I'm loving it. Okay, so there's our mats and layers. There's our element, and now we can. I want to show you the rest of this, but I'm just not convinced it's dry. It doesn't feel dry yet, so I might chuck a heat tool on it and then leave it to dry a little bit.
oh that's a that's a lovely question Mandy what did we make so I can't show you because I'm repeating the same class on Monday and I don't want to spoil the surprise but we used the botanical layers stamp set um which I'm just looking for and we did four cards or three three cards and a bookmark using this um love, love heat embossing ink blending um, three different colorways, three completely different cards and a tag. And um, yeah, I think everybody loved it. So everybody got this stamp set with a class and then um, they could just free reign to work with it for the four hours that we were there for. So it was it was wonderful. And for anybody who kind of wants to join in one of my classes, but is further away, I'm doing an online. I haven't even advertised this kind of outside of my my VIP group but um I really need to on the first of Sunday the first of September October Sunday the first of October I'm doing an online kind of retreat day um using some new products from the mini catalogue so if you're interested in that then um head on over to my VIP group where you'll see all the details or I'll be launching it on my Facebook group real soon so yes that's going to be awesome fun okay Gonna decorate these two panels. I'm still just waiting for this to dry, but this is where the magic's gonna happen, okay? So you're gonna want to wait for that one. Currently playing Mario 3 on the Switch. Utterly rubbish at it. 11 year old is taking the right pin. <laughs> you have that because of what you did. Oh, Mandy, bless you. Thank you. Yeah, I made my swaps with that one, which was lovely. So we're gonna do some more ink blending. This big one is gonna have green. So just using what's already, already on the brush, and I'm just gonna ink blend, not top left and bottom right, but just in the middle, kind of faintly. I don't really want it to be bright and bold. I think one of the biggest things with ink blending that people can go overboard. So I just want it where you can barely see it. You've actually finished your makes today. Oh, Gina, that's amazing. Absolutely brilliant. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had, I had a lot of fun. And then this one, just on the bottom, is going to have the Azure Afternoon. So sometimes you don't even need to re-ink your blending brush. Just go with what's already on there, and that will give you a really nice light blend. And you can go in, and look, it's, it's got enough colour down the bottom there. It's nice and dark, just creating that ombre effect. And then we can bring in some stamps. So we've got... Ah, oh, yes, this one. I'm getting lost with all my stamp sets I've got out. So this is like the bubbles. I love that. Absolutely love that. Oh, and I made little treats as well. We heat embossed, I heat embossed the leaves in gold onto navy. So if you've got this set, give that a go. It looks gorgeous. And then we're going to stamp green onto green and blue onto blue. And we're going to... And I've stamped off. So just stamp it off once onto the grid paper. And this is going to give you a lighter. It's just background. We don't want it dark, dark. And I'm just kind of stamping. Not all the way across. So I've just got some left and right. OK, so that's that one. And then that can stick straight onto there. And then the blue one is going to have the little fishies on it. Because I don't think a sea turtle card would be complete without some little fishies. So it's just this little set here. And again, they've got the, the background, so you could easily turn that over and do that as well. And that is going to be in Azure Afternoon. So for those of you who aren't demonstrators, um, we got to see the new catalogue, the mini catalogue last night. And oh my word, there is some beautiful, beautiful stuff in that catalogue. Um, so for those of you who, are, who have seen it, um, I bet you're pleased with it, just like we were. So I'm just going to stamp these. I am stamping these in full strength. I'm not stamping off. And I'm just going to get a couple... So it just looks like that, a little bit of a wave of a fish going around. Um, and then I need a sentiment, but I've forgotten what sentiment I used. So what have we got in here? Mm, not sure. I might have to come back to a sentiment. 
but that's going to stamp on there and stick on there. There's quite a few things you need. Joanna, me too. Yes, me too. And I normally say I'm not going to get many things. I don't need any more Christmas things. But actually this year I do because I've got rid of nearly all of my Christmas stuff from last year. Well, it's all in a box anyway. Um, so I haven't actually got any Christmas stuff to work with. So I need lots. That's a sad thing, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, there's loads of things in there. And I'm thinking um, for my winter... So for the um, online event, thinking of using, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using the winter. Oh, I should have, should have unblocked this before I went for it. The wind. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's so pretty. Winter garden. I should know what it's called, but my memory is not so good. And I only saw it yesterday. So when, I, when that happens to me and you get too much glue out, I just turn it round and use the glue spreader on the other side. How many years was I using this glue before, before I realised there was a glue spreader on the other side? Too many. So we'll just put a little bit of glue up into that corner. And then we can stick that down. And I'm okay with stamping my sentiment on once this is stuck down. I'm, I'm okay with that. But if you're not, then you might want to stamp your sentiment first you stick it on I just can't decide yet what I want and I'm being a bit lazy I don't want to have to get up and have a look so that's on there this is on here and then we can start to decorate them properly we oh we always bought oh Anita I saw Mo today and uh, she popped into the shop to see when our next workshop was which was lovely um yeah really nice to catch up with her so that's going to go on there. But you're right, we always want new craft goodies. I think all crafters are the same. You can never have too much. Do you need to buy it for the retreat? Well, no, because some of it's going to come as part of the retreat. I just need to work out pricings. Um, so, yes. Lot, very exciting. Very, very exciting. Okay, so that's that. What we're going to do now... Shall I do this bit? Is it dry? Let me see if it's dry. So the way to tell is I've got my clear embossing powder and I'm just going to dip this in, the clear embossing powder. And if it all kind of comes off, then it's dry. If it sticks to certain areas of it, then it's not quite dry yet. I think we might be good. I think we might be good. Let's go for it. Okay, so we've got our little sea turtle and our starfish. Oh, I'm going to put info out before the pre-order. I think that's important. So there will be info coming out soon about it. I just need, I just need some time. <laughs> okay, so we've got Versamark. Versamark we need, which is like a sticky ink. And we've got our sea turtle. Now, this can be really, really tricky to see. So you might want to just kind of stamp one at a time. Oh, you had lunch with him. How, oh, that's lovely. I thought you were still in, still in touch. And what we're going to do is just stamp one and then pop it on there. And then I can't actually see in this light where I've stamped. So I'm just going to cover it with the clear embossing powder tap off the excess and now I can see so if you can't see sometimes I can and I do a few at a time um, but if you can't just do one at a time and I probably should have run this the embossing buddy over this but I didn't so. it's going good and this is just going to one at a time so this is really similar to what we did today, but just with watercolour. Remember, this is watercolour cardstock. So I'm going to go wild because I know I did one up down there, so I'm safe doing one up here. What you don't want to do is just overlap them. It doesn't matter if you do. I did on my trial one. But it's preferable if you can keep them separate. 
So again, I know I can get away with doing a starfish down here. That's the wind, that's the one, Winter Meadow. Winter Meadow, gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna make oh, I've, I've, the advent calendar. I can't wait to share with you all using some of those speciality papers. It's gonna look amazing. Um, and some table favors, tree decorations, Christmas cards. It's gonna be a jam packed day. So I'm just doing one. Um, I might just do a starfish poking off the edge there. This is such a fun technique. I can't believe it. I had to, um, luckily, Carrie did a blog post of it because I genuinely couldn't figure out how she'd done what she'd done. Um, so I read the blog post. It was brilliant. They had used the type, type one, time one, type, no, just my type stamp set, um, which gave some brilliant results. So it's not the quickest, it takes a bit of time, but you're all being really patient. But yeah, this is definitely the way to go if you can't see the ink on the page with the verse mark. Just take it slow and do one at a time. Just going to try and do a bit of a turtle poking off the end there as well. And then we can do, you want to keep coming off the page because I think it just brings it all together. Can look a bit flat if you keep everything on the page. So stamping off the page just means that you've got the stamp coming off the edge of the page. Okay. And just one little bit of a starfish maybe. No, I don't think we need it. I think we're done. We are done. Then we're gonna heat set that. So we put ink onto watercolor cardstock and then we've heat, we've gonna heat set this clear embossing powder. So this is clear. Don't make sure you don't use white, otherwise this isn't going to work as well. Okay, so now we've got something that just kind of you can't you can't really see anything here, can you? You can just see a bit of glittery. It doesn't honestly, Mandy, it doesn't look like anything now, does it? <laughs> You've got to wait for it. The magic is gonna happen shortly. So now we just need a spritzer. So I'm gonna get quite messy, I think. I, don't, I should have got another piece of grid paper, maybe. What have I got? What have I got in my box? Let's put this underneath. We need a spritzer with water in it. It's 
Let's see where I've put it. Has this got water in? Yes. I have to smell it to make sure it's not alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, not, not drinking alcohol. Okay, so have your kitchen roll or your, tea, your kind of towel stood by. And then we're going to spritz this with water. I'm going to leave it just for kind of a few seconds. The water is going to react with the ink. And then what we're going to do is dab it away. And that picture, look at that. That picture is going to shine through. This is fun. This is like my kind of crafting. I don't do it often enough. So, and then you can just go back in with the spritzer on any areas that you think, oh, I want that a bit lighter. It's good, isn't it, Joanna? Ah, oh, hey, Diane. Yeah, so really similar what we were doing today, using that heat embossed and the blending, just, com you know, completely different result, using it with the watercolour. And Carrie did it with some really bright colours and it was absolutely beautiful. And there it is. So the heat, what's happened basically is where we put the clear heat, clear embossing and we, we um, blended some kind of darker colours, the darker colours shine through underneath the heat embossing. We then react the ink with the water, dab it off, and it takes away some of the colour, making it lighter in the surrounding areas. So we've gone from really not being able to see an awful lot when I just had heat embossed it, to taking that ink away and giving you that effect, like a watermark effect. Lovely, isn't it? So now we need for that to dry. You could heat set this with a heat tool, but just bear in mind that you would probably melt your powder again. It's not a problem. Um, but if I'm just going to leave it to air dry whilst we kind of finish up making the rest of the card and then we'll pop that on almost last off. So to make the card, I'm probably just going to need to find a sentiment. I'm going to need to do it. So... I really should have figured this out before I came on though. I'm gonna go with this massive thank you. Oh wow, it's red rubber. Um, I don't make things easy for myself, do I? Stamping a sentiment straight onto a decorated piece is okay when it's photopolymer. It's a little bit more tricky when it's red rubber. So just practice on your grid paper. Looks good. There we go. So a nice big thank you card. Then we've, so we've got that, we've got our thing. Now we just need to kind of decorate this. So we're gonna go for the turtle. So I'm stamping the turtle and it's big. It's a big turtle. It's fun, Eloise. Really, really nice technique. I'm so grateful um, to have seen it. And um, Carrie did a great job explaining it in her blog. And um, yeah, I just thought it was so nice. It needed to be shared with the world. And I can't believe it was the first time I've seen it. Oh, well done, Katie. It's always nice to feel that you've repaired something. I don't get that feeling very often because I'm not very good at repairing things. So I'm going to stamp him straight down in Azure Afternoon. And then, rather than doing the two-step stamping, I thought if we grab the blending brush and put some blending over, but not in this middle section, we could get, like, the appearance of a three-dimensional shell. So I'm doing the head, the arms and the feet, and around the side of the body. Again, I'm not re-inking this blending brush. I'm just using what's already on there and I'm going to leave this middle area white. I just want it to be a bit darker around these edges. You should actually have used the smaller one. It's a bit easier to control the small brush. I'm hoping we'll see this. 
Yeah, so you've got that nice area of white through the middle. And then when we fussy cut that out, because there's no dives for it. Yeah, so that was what I've been playing with, um, Joanna, since I saw this, or the kind of Joseph's coat technique. And um, we did another one today as well. I think we did, oh yeah, just the normal kind of heat embossing and blending around it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's exactly like the Joseph's coat technique, but with watercolour and removing the colour rather than adding it, which is fun. So yeah, no dyes. So you're going to have to fussy cut Mr. Turtle. But he's quite big. He's quite easy to cut. This would look lovely on any kind of watercolored background, actually. You can do some really fun stuff with watercolor in. Um, I'm releasing the second of my watercolouring courses really soon as well. So if you missed out on the first one or the days weren't right, then we'll have a second one starting really soon. So um, I'll be in touch with anybody who kind of wants me to be in touch with them about that one. I know a few people have already been kind of messaged me and said they're keen. So yep, yeah, second watercolour course, we're only halfway through the first one, but you know, things need to be prepped early. So that's going to be running for the second part of the year. So it'll be a Christmas Christmas themed one, um, some Christmas stamp sets, showing you all the fun techniques that we've been learning in our first course, which is, is going amazingly well. So lovely to see people gain more confidence in a medium that they've shied away from. Gen a gender neutral, gender neutral um, I was going to say a tadpole, but it's not a tadpole, is it? I lose my words late at night. Um, and then I've got jellyfish in my head and it's not a jellyfish either. Is a turtle. So there we go. So there's our little turtle. I think he looks really cool with that streak of white going through there. Ah, thanks, Joanna. It's so lovely to see people develop and gain confidence that's the biggest thing for me so then we've got our little starfish but this time we're going to stamp it in versamark again now we want two of these and we're going to heat set these in white powder two of those and two of the really small one so again i'm just going with the i can't see where i've stamped so i'm just going to Grab those. I've kind of gone off the page on one, but that's okay. It's going to be covered. And then we want the teeny, teeny little one. Little dude. Ah, uh, is this on your current order? I totally overlooked it. And I'm going to, I must pull some stuff out and do some stuff with the reversible because I've seen some lovely things done with it using that reversible kind of element to it. And I'm a bit sad I didn't, but this was just working the way it was working, so I went for it. Ah, oh, you guys are so cute. Thank you, Gina. I love that you guys love them, because otherwise I wouldn't do them. If you guys didn't, if you guys didn't love them, it wouldn't be worth me doing them. So it definitely pleases me. It makes my heart sink to see you all enjoying them. So I'm just going to heat set these. You know, I just read that. You enjoy strangely enjoy making a colour wheel. I don't think that's strange at all. I love making colour wheels and just playing with the colour. I love mixing colours. I love playing with colour. So much fun. So this is just, again, I might just ink this up, but I might get away with not. Let's see how we get on. And I'm just going over these starfish, heat embossed in white, and then ink blended with the blue. Yeah, mixing colours is one of my, I think one of my favourite things to do. 
with watercolour. I don't know actually because there's so much you can do with it. And I'm just fussy cutting these out. Um, they're such easy shapes, I don't think you need a die set. They're not complicated, it's just round and round. There's no even sharp edges. Trip to Tricks to fussy cutting, tips to fussy cutting is just to hold your scissors still. I rest my arm on the desk um, because I find that so much easier than kind of hovering it in midair. So my forearm stays on the desk and it's my left hand here. If you're right handed, right hand holds the scissors and it's my left hand that's moving the, the paper. Johnny, you still need to finish lesson one. Oh, bless you. Did you watch lesson two live? I can't remember. I forget who, who joins in live or not. I thought I saw you with your cat. Yeah, yeah, you were there with your little one, weren't you? With the little cat on your lap. That's right. But yeah, lesson, lesson one is the kind of foundations. We always go right back to basics. Okay. And there's the second one of those. And then just these two little dinky ones. And then I'm debating when do I get Harry Potter and Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy computer game is out for the PS4 now. Um, I'm really tempted, but I know I'm going to lose myself to it. So I'm thinking it's going to have to be more into the winter. Maybe it's a winter thing. I need to get the retreat out, not out of the way, but I need to do that. And then I need to do the, set up the second course and then maybe I'll lose myself. But I think if I lose myself now, we'll be all be in for it. I won't get anything done. That's right, Bella, little Bella, cutie pie. Little cat, cat paw prints everywhere as they step in the water. I, um, I'd love to have a, a cat. We can't have one at the moment because of the rabbit, it wouldn't be fair. Um, the rabbit would get scared, but we may in the future. We're quite close to a road, that's the only thing that puts us off. Okay, okay, okay. so yeah, let's go there, start putting it all together, shall we? And we can just add a sentiment last, last off, I think. We're basically there. So we've got our, before you all get bored and disappear and leave me, so we've got our, oh no, there's just one more thing we need. Okay, I'm nearly there, nearly there. We need some basic white cardstock measuring four and three quarters by 14. Four and three quarters by 14. And this needs to be white, basic white. So 14 by four and three quarters which is halfway between four and a half and five. And then I've got a lovely embossing folder. Oh, I know, Katie. Well, it's one of the benefits of not having children. <laughs> yes, I, I am able just to completely lose myself. So where's my embossing folder? Apart from the housework, but yeah, you know, housework can get done tomorrow. So this is our pile of laundry that is building and building and building. Um, okay. I need, I need, I need, I'm going to have to switch and get the big machine. So for embossing, which I can't find the folder, I need the grey embossing plate. And we're going to emboss these two. Oh, really should be tidier. It's got to be here somewhere. I had it. I've got it out. Ready to use. Ah, here it is. So I've got this splats one which I thought looked like big water droplets. So I'm gonna heat emboss, uh, sorry, dry emboss both of these. And you can do this with the mini because that's a mini suitable plate. But 
Oh, I can't find my mini grey plate, so that's why I'm using the big one. Quite lucky Russ does all the laundry, so it's all clean. It's just all in the spare bedroom, waiting for me to fold it up and put it away. Which I'm a bit behind with. Okay, so we're going to just glue this. Um, with in watercolour cardstock, it can bow. So ideally you want to use tape or a tape runner, um, but I am just gonna go for wet glue. Wet glue will stick, it just needs a little bit extra coaxing. It just needs a little bit of extra holding down while it dries, whereas the tape bonds it instantly. So pop a good amount of glue all over. And then we can stick that down on the kind of inside of our card here. And then these two water, these two panels, the kind of splotched embossed panels are going to go one either side here. one on that side and one on that side. You could put pattern paper here as well if you wanted to. Ah, thank you. It's it's a super, I really enjoyed making this one. It's a super fun card to make. Beautiful colours as well for this set. So yeah, you could put pattern paper as well, but I thought this, the white helped it to stand out. So that's why I went for white there. And then this is your mechanism. So we're gonna stick the mechanism on next. Um, the way I did it was just put glue on both sides and then just kind of went for it because you get a little bit of wiggle room. Um, it doesn't really matter height wise as long as it's somewhere basically in the middle, um, but it does want to be kind of directly on the fold line. So we can just go a bit of glue on either side. And then kind of bravely just go for it. And then you get that wiggle room just to move it around and line it up. And then you can give that a good press down. And then that will, once you're patient and wait for it, That will close that that way. You wanna, you do wanna kind of make sure it does close before it has fully, fully dried. Um, because if it doesn't close, then it you've, you've got a bit of an issue. It's better for it to close fully and not open fully than be able to open fully and not close fully. So don't wait for it to dry open. Can you see here by me closing it, I've pushed it aside slightly um, and it now won't close, it, like, it won't fold flat that way, but that's okay as long as it folds flat that way. Going wild, gotta go wild, go reckless, but do make sure it closes because that's the important thing. Okay, and then you've got your little piece here that's gonna go sitting on the inside of here. So you're just gonna put some glue on that panel That's going to butt up against there. And again, closed is the most important thing. Just making sure you're happy with it height wise. If you're not, just wiggle it around. But yeah, I'm happy with that height wise, top and bottom. And again, just make sure that kind of glues flat down. And then when, when you open the card, that is going to pop out. So it's kind of straight enough for government work oh you can't see so that's going to kind of pop out like that you know me I can't help myself I always say it doesn't matter it's close enough but then I'll get really fussy 
I think it's basically stuck, so that's that's gonna that's gonna have to be good enough. And then we are gonna go for our sea turtle. So this little starfish is gonna stick on the bottom. I'm running out of glue. A little bit of glue just down here. He's gonna sit like that. Then our turtle is gonna go up on dimensionals. Got lots of um, edges to use up. We were talking about in this in class today the dimensionals. Once, so I learned today that someone I know doesn't use the edges. I was I was shocked to say the least. Um, always use my edges up and kind of really help really work out for big areas like this. They're great for it. So I can grab a little chunk off the edge. Just stick that on. And then the flippers, you might just want some smaller sections. They are flippers, aren't they, on a turtle, I think? Yeah, I think so, Katie. We said save them up and bring them. Because they're so good. They're great for doing bigger areas. If you've got any big panels that need sticking down, um, sometimes I just chop them up and use them like little ones. Um, depends how many I've got and how many kind of loose packets I've got kicking around. So this one can now stick on dimensionals across here like this. We've got two little ones. They're going to sit underneath the side. So we're going to have one poking out underneath there. Obviously, if you put dimensionals right up to the side, you might struggle to get these little starfish down. Um, so just bear, in, bear that in mind. And then this other one can go underneath here. I know, do you know what? It's little scraps is the only thing I don't really use. I, I do throw my little teeny, teeny weeny scraps away. Um, I used to keep everything and then I just got overrun by overrun by scraps so i but i now give them to um a local um like children like what do you call it nursery um i give them to a local nursery so they are at least still being used which makes me happy and then that one is also up on dimensionals and that's just going across our turtle like that then i've got some of this twine so i know this isn't the right color but it just matches hello hazel ah uh, you're all right oh i'm so pleased your turtle stamp set came perfect timing perfect timing i'm just tying a bow so this is the like five color in color so this color is actually um tahitian tide but it's just it's perfect because we've blended some of that azure afternoon. It is a lighter colour anyway. So we can make ourselves a nice little bow. Ah, sneaky beaky at work. Bless you. Are you want a little break, Hazel? Hopefully it won't be too busy a night for you. I should never say that. I'm a night, I'm a night shift worker. I know that. I know I should never say. I didn't say the Q word though, that's the, that's the band word. I had a very busy night shift at work the other night. We were bringing the, um, bringing one of the ships in and um, yeah, it turned into a long old night. I mean, they're all long, but sometimes get a little bit of a, a break. I've just found an eclair in my drawer. <laughs> I'm going to eat that afterwards. Okay, and then last but not least, we just need a sentiment. And, oh, I need to find that. I need to find that. Okay, I know which it is. Um, my most used die set, we were talking about this as well today. Never say the keyword. Hiding in the loo. Oh, Hazel, you make me laugh. Okay, so we've got a little bit of um, white. Hard stock. 
Is that long enough? Yes. And I'm just going to die cut this. I could probably stamp it and then die cut it, but I'm just going for this way. Don't eat the eclair until you've until you're done. Yeah, no, I won't. I won't eat it until I finished. I was tempted, but that would be bad. I think. Okay, so let's put that back there and then grab. This is some a set that you might not have got or seen or seen this sentiment in country bouquet has just got this just wanted to say which i think is a really nice if you've got any kind of fun fold that's got the main sentiment on a different panel so that's why i thought it would work really well here and again i'm just going to stamp that in the excuse my ignorance what is the keyword wow the, the Q word is the opposite of um, busy. Can I say that? So I'm just going to stamp that one there. I'm not at work, so I can say it. Hazel might kill me for it, though, but it's uh, quiet. It's all quiet. Everyone comes in the office. Oh, quiet in here. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opposite of, opposite of loud. Yeah. There you go. So that's just going to sit over there. I am going to put dimensionals on, I think. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's quiet in here today. Like, shush. That's not a word that we're allowed to say. <laughs> because invariably, the reason being, invariably, as soon as they said that, it's then not quiet. And everything kicks off and it gets busy. It is a powerful word. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to go across here. So I've just left a little gap in here, which is going to sit over the knot, hopefully. So I'm just going to add another because this one is actually going to sit in that gap where there's no dimensional. So I'm just going to double dimensional. Oh, hey, Danielle, did I see you sneak in? Did you say hello at the beginning? I missed you if you did. So that's just going to sit over there like that. Is it going to fit in? Is it going to go like that? Something like that. Looks a bit wonkified. Is that a word? Pop that out from underneath there, and then that will sit better. It's got a bit of a, it's got a bit of a bump in it, but I'm good with that. Um, and then that is going to sit over the top of here. So you just need to be mindful that it covers the right hand side of this one and lays centrally and that you don't glue everywhere. So we're only going to glue on this left hand panel. OK, I'm going to stick this down and then try and catch up with your messages. Bless you guys. Struggling to read. My computer's a bit far away. I'm going to get the same problem with this glue. It's all going to spurt out in a minute. Uh, it's because I left the lid off. Might just use a different one because if that goes everywhere again. Ah, you're walking the dog. I didn't think I'd didn't think I'd seen you. Little pooch. So just over that left hand panel, you might just want to pop a little bit more on because it's going onto an embossed area. Can be a bit tricky. And then that is gonna sit over the top we get that wiggle room just to make sure it's lined up top and bottom danielle i think um i think i'm being taken over by fun fold cards for some reason um i don't know what's happening to me i'm a bit worried um but i keep making fun fold cards when i don't even need to <laughs> daughter tells you you can have a day crafting there'll be a call from the school temperature someone being ill never say anything in the university so it's a challenge that is so true yep isn't it that's always the case so we're just going to remove that dirty grid paper so you can see the finished card i know right that's how i'm that's how i'm feeling and um, there's our finished card so that's the background we made if you missed how to make the background do go back and check it out 
You've been watching but cooking, eating dinner too. Ah, oh, bless you. Bless you, bless you. I know a lot of people eat dinner around this time. We, we eat dinner at half past four, thanks to my other half. So no danger of me being busy. Ta-da! That's it. So a nice fun fold pop out mechanism. That's how it kind of looks and sits. It is easy. It's super easy. And it kind of works when you've got, you want a lot to be seen, I think. So yeah, I was really pleased how it came out. And this was the one I made earlier. They're exactly the same. Now we have two. So just wanted to say, you can do amazing things. And just wanted to say, thank you. So I love that that stamp set exists and you, that stamp exists and you can just kind of put whatever sentiment following on from that that you want. I don't think it matters that they're different fonts, personally. But yeah, there's, this is the, for the first one I did where I, you can see I've nearly overlapped a couple of these. I found it a bit trickier to see. So I've overlapped a couple, but you can't you can't really tell. Oh, dude, do give the fold a go. Yes, it'll make it worth it. It'll make my fun fold adventure worth it if you guys give that fun fold a go. Um, I might try and write a blog post on it, but, you know, I might not get around to it. Um, so all the measurements will be in this video. You've already seen them. I might get around to putting those in the description below. Um, but, yeah, if you liked what you see and you're kind of new to my channel, please do hit subscribe and hit the notification bell, and then you'll be notified of any lives that I do as well. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to everybody for popping on, spending your evening with me. We've managed to finish bang on time, which is amazing. Um, ah, thanks, Monday. Thank you, everybody. Um, ah, oh, thanks, Gina. The, the stamp set is great. It's the sea turtle stamp set. If you don't have it, have a look at it. Check it out. See if you think you might like it. That one and the enchanted butterfly. Both look different to how you might think. They're both much bigger. Look at the little sea turtle here, and that's him there. It's huge, huge difference. Okay, okay. What's going on then? Will I be here next week? Yes, I've got to work, but the day shift. So I'm hoping to get prepared and um, ready. And then I should be able to join you guys again next Thursday evening. So thank you so much for hopping on. Catch up with you all again really soon. Stay safe, stay careful, enjoy summer, even though it's not been summer, summer weather. Um, yes, Michaela has done some great things with this as well. So if you, Michaela, um, the Crafty Oink pen. So if you don't follow her on social media, go check her out because she's done some cool stuff with this set. Um, it's She might convince you even more. Thank you, guys. Take it easy. See you really soon. Bye, everybody. Bye for now.